I have no idea who's going to be in here. And it's like, it's like, it's like going art shopping. You just go, and what's the thing that grabs your fancy? My criteria in coming to the summer exhibition is what do I want most, what do I covet most, and what do I want off the wall immediately. And I hope to see something that I feel I haven't seen before. So, ready, set, go. We're going to do a quick whip round. Take that one. I have that one. Love this one. I'll take that one. How much is this one? Oh, because it's theatrical and enticing and it's small and makes you look in. And I love all that. You know, puppet theatre is the things that I grew up with. So that's right up my, right up my street. Okay, take those three. Well, I know who that is, so I'm not going to tell you. I have that one. What would you take? You know, that's the thing. It's so personal art that you just have a response to something. And that's what I love about it. It's visceral and it's unintellectual. Oh, I love that. That's wonderful. London map of days. That's quintessentially British to me. Witty and funny. Oh, I'd have that in a second. It's absolutely beautiful. I just want to touch it and eat it. Lick it. Hold it. Oh, I want this one in my garden. Oh, it's absolutely extraordinary. Well, as I'm a Taurian, I better buy this one. And I'd have this little one here. The tangoing bull. This one here, that'd do me. And how can you resist a Grayson? The sculpture of cork boards, I'd take that in a snap. Beautiful. I love the wall colours. I think that it, you know, all colour just dances out at you and entices you in. I think it's absolutely wonderful. It instantly makes an exhibition seem less stuffy and less up itself, and I like that. So I think it's a good thing.